In this video, we're going to take a look at tracking video views and the percentage watched. So on rapidruby.com, if you're signed up as a member, you get access to videos a week early. And they use a service called Mux for the videos, which just gives us a, a video URL that we can plug into the normal HTML5 video player. And we basically want to track whenever you start watching a video and start making your way through what percentage of that video you've watched. So we've got a video controller here in Stimulus that uh, creates our video element and then adds an event listener for the time update event. And we throttle that using Lodash and that's throttled every 10 seconds. So it's only going to fire off every 10 seconds to the server. So this calls a on time update event. And we do uh, some calculation here to figure out the percent watched. And then we log that to the console. So if we go back to the video page, reload and hit play, you'll see that we start getting these events through and um, they're only going to fire off every 10 seconds. So when we do this, we want to trigger to the server. So we want to go through here and we want to say post to lessons. We need to pass in the video ID and then to views and we'll take a percent watched here and we'll pass that in and then we'll set the content type to application json so let's go ahead and look at the controller for this so i've set up some tests here that um basically if you're not logged in it's going to return no content but it's not going to do anything with that data uh, if you are signed in it's going to create a video view in the database and if you are signed in and you've already viewed that video it's just going to update the content of it rather than creating a new one every time that the event goes off so at the moment we don't have a video view so we'll go ahead and create that so we'll use a uh, rails generate model and we'll call it video view and that's going to belong to a user so we'll have user references it's going to belong to video so we'll have video references and then we're going to have a percentage watched which is going to be an integer so if we go ahead and look at this and um, we have percentage watch we're going to set that to null false default zero um, because if this ever gets created You've watched some portion of the video and again our user and our video are required fields as well so we'll save this and we will run our migrations and we'll run those in the test environment first and then run them on our development so now if we go back we can run our tests again and we get unknown attribute percent watched and I think that's because I called it percentage watched so we're going to have to go here and change that to percentage and we'll see if that run them again and we need to change this one too and these are failing because we have no code implemented so we'll go to our controller and we will say uh, private def video view params and the only thing we're going to have here is we're going to say params dot permit percentage and we'll see if that so now when we come to our create we can basically do a check if user signed in and if they're not we're not going to do anything and then we can say video view dot create we'll say video view params and then we'll do dot merge on that and we'll say obviously we'll do our merge down below here user is going to be current dot user and video is going to be at video and so we're going to need a before action up here to load the video 
So we'll say set value and then come down and then say app video is find by params ID and it might actually come through as less than ID I think and um, we'll just use a bang here to make sure it, that it blows up if it can't actually create it so we'll go to our tests and then run this first one on oh, no, not root percentage um, we should really just update our specs and our view to pass this in as percentage watched so it lines up nicely so we'll do that and then we'll go to our video controller and we'll do the same thing and then run all our specs again so we expected the percent to be 45 and we got zero so that's because we need to change this to percentage watched as well and come back and rerun this and that one's now passing so now if we go to this one here and run it it's going to fail because it's creating a second video view so what we need to do here is instead of doing create we want to do video view dot where user is current dot user video is at video and then what we can call on this is dot first or create and once we've got that we've got a video view and then we could call video view dot percentage watched Actually, we'll call update and we'll pass in our video view params and actually this can be first or initialize or we can call update with this as well so now I will go back and we'll run all of our specs and now all of them are passing so if we come back to our code and reload um, now I will open up our console and we'll keep it on the network tab we'll hit play and we're still getting that as a 404 because we haven't set a video ID so we'll go back into our view and we'll go here and we'll set video underscore video ID value and then we'll say at video dot ID and we'll see if that and then go to here so instead of video ID target, it should be video ID value. And we'll need to add that in there as well. So let's say video ID is a number. And so now this goes off and the IDs are going in properly. And if we open up our Rails console and we search for video view dot last, we'll now see we've got a video percentage watched and a user ID all set up and tracking and if we do a count on this we've got one we'll go hit play and it's just going off again there and we can go back and do a count again we've still just got one object but the percent watched has just jumped up to 11 so that's it all working and I hope you found that interesting and um, if you did please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Cheers.